Have you ever gotten that sinking feeling after opening a bill, only to realize it somehow skyrocketed in price? Yeah, us too. That's where subscription and bill management apps like Rocket Money come in, promising to streamline your finances and slash those pesky charges. But before you jump on the Rocket Money bandwagon, let's take a critical look. Is it really the silver bullet to your financial woes, or are there some hidden costs and drawbacks to consider? Limited free features, not quite free money management. First up, the free version of Rocket Money. It might seem tempting, a chance to wrangle your finances without spending a dime. But here's the catch, the free features are pretty bare bones. You can see your account balances in one place, which is helpful, but that's about it. Forget about fancy budgeting tools, automatic bill negotiation, or even live customer support. For those, you'll need to upgrade to Rocket Money Premium. Pay to save. The controversy of bill negotiation fees. Alright, so the free version is limited. Let's talk about Rocket Money Premium and its big selling point, bill negotiation. The idea is simple, Rocket Money haggles with your service providers on your behalf, aiming to score you lower rates. Sounds great, right? Well, there are a couple of things to unpack here. First, there's no guarantee of success. Rocket Money takes a cut, between 30% and 60%, of any savings they achieve. So, if they manage to shave $20 off your monthly internet bill, you might only see $12 saved. That percentage might seem steep, especially considering you can often negotiate directly with providers yourself for free. Second, some users report getting charged for negotiations on bills they never intended to renegotiate. Not exactly ideal. Is the pay what is fair model really fair? Another quirk of Rocket Money Premium is their pay what is fair pricing model. Instead of a flat monthly fee, you choose how much you want to pay. Sounds democratic, right? Well, there's a catch. The lowest tiers require annual payments, which locks you in for a year. On the other hand, opting for a more flexible monthly plan comes with a higher price tag. Hidden costs and a not-so-seamless experience. On top of the subscription and negotiation fees, there are a few other potential costs to consider. Account linking through Plaid, the service Rocket Money uses to connect to your bank accounts, can be slow and frustrating. Free users also have to deal with delayed account updates, which isn't exactly helpful for real-time budgeting. Finally, canceling Rocket Money Premium can be a multi-step process, which some users have found cumbersome. So, is Rocket Money a total dud? Look, Rocket Money might be a decent option for some people. If you have a ton of subscriptions you can't be bothered to manage yourself, and don't mind potentially paying a premium for convenience, it could be worth a try. But for those who are comfortable negotiating bills themselves and want a more robust budgeting experience, there might be better options out there, especially considering the limited free features and potential hidden costs of Rocket Money. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to use Rocket Money is up to you. But before you sign up, be sure to do your research and weigh the pros and cons carefully. Are the potential savings worth the fees and limitations? There are plenty of free and low-cost budgeting apps and resources available, so don't feel pressured to jump on the Rocket Money bandwagon if it doesn't seem like the right fit for your financial situation. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.